Hello, today's question is software. What software should people use to make music? Um, this is probably the reason why I started the channel. I get asked this question more than any other question, and it's um, such a broad question or, or, or topic that there's really no one answer. Um, I'll talk about the different types of software that are out there and you know go from there. Um, the way that I have my setup is I use Pro Tools. And Pro Tools is what's called a host-based program. Cubase, Logic, Pro Tools, um, SoundForge, these are all considered host-based programs. And you can use other software within it. Think about it as a, a, a large mixing board. And then from there, you configure everything that you want into it. So you can use Native Instruments, uh, Battery, or Contact, or Reactor, or um, you know any number of... Ableton, Reason, all these things can come into your host-based program. Technically, Ableton is expanding enough to be a host-based program, but I still think that the editing capabilities are lacking. Um, so I personally really love working in Pro Tools because I've been using it since Pro Tools 3, which is like 1996. Um, it's great, and they've also made some pretty leaps and bounds in the most recent release, making it a lot more... Uh, functional for the composer, um, a lot of new soft synths that come with it, um, so it's it's a lot more usable on that level. Uh, Logic or Cubase will do for anyone. The the disadvantage of going with another program other than Pro Tools is that Pro Tools comes with hardware, and the hardware works with Pro Tools. But if say you you go to Logic and then you want to go to Pro Tools, you have to buy the hardware on top of it. So. That's just one thing to keep in mind. Um, as for Beats, Beats I think I'm going to do a separate segment on because there's so many different programs and it's so much more than just one program. Uh, there's a whole way of working and composing Beats that I think I ne it needs its own uh, topic as well as probably bass and synthesis. So. Um, so I think the main thing is getting a good host-based program, and then from there you can plug in what you want. Um, you know, Logic comes with a bunch of synthesizers, so you have a lot of toys then all of us all immediately to play with. Um, uh, then also, um, the other thing that's really important that I think a lot of people that they don't realize is it's not just the software. You need good monitors. Spend the money on the monitors. You know, spend a grand on a good pair of Dynaudios or events or, you know, a good pair of monitors. Because if you can't hear what you're doing, it's pointless, you know. There's actually tons of freeware out there as far as software goes. I mean, you'd be better off almost spending more money on the, the monitors and using all the freeware out there. And you'll probably be better off making better music that way because you can actually hear what you're doing. Um, so that's the main thing that I would say when you're starting your new, you know, new studio is, is get a good host program, get good monitors, and um, go from there. Um, as for the different types of software that's out there, there is, you know, there's Native Instruments, so they have a whole suite of things, so you could get Complete, which is a very great um, set of tools. I would say, as for composing, having everything that you need to make good music, you want something that, that makes really good bass, you want something that can do really good beats, and then you want, you know, quite a, a wide variety of stuff in between to, to really fill up the sonic palette. Um, but, like I said, the most important thing is, is having a good host program and good monitors, and that's a really good start. So I hope that's helpful, and my next segment will be on beat making.